The KVU defenders looked into three years' worth of data showing why Williamson County deputies start vehicle chases. Tonight, investigative reporter Brad Stryker breaks down the department's pursuit policy. 1050, 1050, he just crashed. Just right in front of me. This is video from the body camera of an Austin police officer. It shows the moments leading up to Javier Ambler's fatal arrest by Williamson County deputies. Williamson County deputies stopped Ambler because he didn't dim his headlights to oncoming traffic. When he tried to get away, the deputies chased after him. Especially minor traffic infraction, uh, things like that. Um, we have the option to just disregard and, and, and not pursue it at all. John Bostain is a veteran law enforcement officer who also worked for the FBI. Now his company trains other officers around the country. He says it's becoming more common for law enforcement policies to limit pursuits. We obtained data from Williamson County showing us since March 2017, there have been 96 pursuits. More than half of them were related to traffic violations. I, I feel that pursuits should be limited to those cases where we have some reasonable belief this person is a danger to public safety. We checked Ambler's criminal conviction history. It shows only a few minor run-ins with the law, including traffic violations and a marijuana conviction almost 20 years ago. It really always does come down to public safety. We also obtained Williamson County's pursuit policy, which was updated after the Javier Ambler pursuit last year. It says deputies shouldn't start a pursuit unless there's an immediate need for apprehension. The body camera video from the Ambler pursuit shows while Williamson County deputies chased the man, the Austin police officer did not. He, he took off again. I'm not going to pursue. I thought I could catch up because the vehicle was damaged. He's gone. That could be because Austin Police Department's policies instruct officers not to start a vehicle pursuit if someone evades arrest for a traffic offense or a non-hazardous traffic violation. Williamson County Sheriff Robert Chody wouldn't comment on this case because it's a pending investigation. But he said, our policies have improved a great deal over the past three years I've been in office. They used to chase until the wheels fell off. Bostain recommends law enforcement departments across the country continue taking steps to reduce vehicle pursuits. Uh, this is the ancient principle in policing is that, um, you know, we are there to serve it, the, the public and the public has a say in how we, we go about our profession. We've asked the Williamson County Sheriff's Office for the department's old policy on pursuits, which was in place when Javier Ambler was stopped. We're still waiting for their response. For the KVU Defenders, I'm Brad Stryker, KVU News.